story detectives and welcome to week eight gosh it's week eight of your home learning now i've got another oliver jeffers story for you this week it's called how to catch a star so let's have a look at this one how to catch a star by oliver jeffers once there was a boy and the boy loved stars very much night the boy watched the stars from his window and wished he had one of his very own. He dreamed how this star might be his friend. They would play hide and go seek and take long walks together. The boy decided he would try to catch a star. He thought that getting up early in the morning would be best. Because then the star would be tired from being up in the sky all night. So the next day he set out at sunrise. But he could not see a star anywhere. He sat down and waited for one to appear. He waited and he waited and at lunch and waited and after dinner he waited some more. Finally, just before the sun was about to go away, he saw a star. The boy tried to jump up and grab it, but he could not jump high enough. So very carefully, he climbed to the top of the tallest tree he could find. But the star was still way out of reach. He thought he might lasso the star with his life belt from his father's boat. was much too heavy for him to carry. He thought he could fly up in his spaceship and just grab the star. But his spaceship had run out of petrol last Tuesday when he flew to the moon. Perhaps he could get a seagull to help him fly up in the sky and reach the, his star. But the only seagull he could find didn't want to help at all. The boy thought he would never catch a star. Just then, he noticed something floating in the water. It was the prettiest star he had ever seen. Just like a baby star. It must have fallen from the sky. He tried to fish the star out with his hands, but he couldn't reach it. Then he had an idea. The star might wash up on the shore. He ran back along the jetty to the beach. He waited and walked and watched and waited. And sure enough, the star washed up on the bright golden sand. The boy had caught a star, a star of his very own. The end. Oh, wasn't that a lovely story? Let's just have a quick look back. So we've got this picture on the front of a boy in a rocket and we find out that that rocket had gone to the moon on Tuesday but then it ran out of petrol. Oh dear, I'm not sure if that's really true. Are you? <laughs> and then we've got the rocket here on the front and a star. And then we find out that the boy always loved the stars. He loved them very much. 
He would look out of his window, look right up to the sky, and he really wanted to have a star that he could play hide and seek with or go for a walk on the beach. So he set, sets his alarm, waits till the morning because he thinks stars must be tired by morning. They've been up in the sky all night. But he doesn't have any luck. He waits and waits, has his lunch, has his dinner. And then it's night time again. The sun's going down and oh, the first star of the night's just popped out. So he thinks, right, I'm going to get that one. So he climbs to the top of the tallest tree he can find. Word tallest. We might talk about that word later. And he thought, he thought, well, maybe I could lasso it. Now, a lasso is something where you have a, a string or some sort of hoop. And it's used usually by cowboys to catch cattle that have gone roaming away and they need to bring them back. So you can make a lasso out of a rope, but he's actually got his dad's life belt from his dad's boat. So he's thinking, that might work if I throw that right up and I'll pull it round the star and pull it back down to earth. But no, life belt's too heavy, can't manage to swing that up into space. And then we talk about his spaceship, which had been to the moon last Tuesday, so it's run out of petrol, so we can't use that. And then he thinks maybe a seagull could get up there, but the seagull isn't very interested in helping him. So he thinks, hmm, what can I do now? And then he notices what we realise, it's not really a star, is it? It looks like it must be the reflection of a star on the water. So he's trying to reach that, can't reach it. And he goes back along the jetty, back to the beach, and he waits for it to wash up to shore. What actually washes to shore? It's not a real star, is it? It looks to me like a starfish. Or you can call it, some people call them sea stars. So he's got that instead, and he is very happy with what he's found. So there you go. That was video one of this week's Story Detectives How to Catch a Star. I'll be back in video two to explain the worksheets. Thank you. Bye-bye.